If that fella isn't here in five minutes, we're leaving. But Daddy Chef's always a little late. That's his only fault. His only fault? Why, that poor simp has more bad traits than a pickle has warts. He hasn't any warts. He's probably stuck somewhere. Don't look like we're gonna make it. You're telling me. It's a fine spot you took me to. Hey, wait a minute. How about my fare? The meter's still running, you know. Hey, Ed, is my car ready? Can't prove it by me. I've been working on this one. I can't wait. I'm getting married. Oh, congratulations. Come back here! He's good for his spells. Don't worry about him. I ain't the one to worry. He is. He hasn't got any brakes. Sorry, lady, but I blew my horn. Heavens, get me out of here. Say, I'm freezing. There's a lap robe back there. Put that around you. Where can I take you, lady? Home. 128 Maple Street. Okay. 128 Maple Street. What's that? My dress. Dress? You can't do that to me, lady. Well, I'm not going to get pneumonia. Well, I'll put a stop to that. What am I saying? I can't put a stop to nothing. What'd you say? You'll find out. We've waited long enough. Come on, we're going home. Oh, but Daddy. Oh, here he comes now. There, there's my place. I live right across the street from the church. <laughs> Hello. He didn't stop. Good. Hey, what's the idea? Why didn't you stop? In the first place, I'm not going to stop in front of that church. And in the second place, I haven't got any brakes in the first place. No brakes? Yeah, no brakes. If I never see him again, it'll be soon enough. Here he comes again. I'll be right back. Don't go away. Hey, what's the big idea? I'm passing some people I know out there. Say, listen, I got an idea. The next time we pass that church, I'm jumping out and you can have the car. Oh, no, you don't. Without any brakes? And I can't drive. You can't drive and I can't stop driving. Some fun, eh? La, 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 la. Father. Oh, goody, here he comes again. Yo! No more joyriding. I'm going home. This is a fine how do you do. Oh, uh, how do you do? Yeah. How do you do? Don't you how do you do me, you... you... Timer? But listen, honey, I can explain. You can? Well, explain about running through a signal. And about hitting two cars. I'm was... not stopping. Well, now, wait a minute. Wait a... Joe! I suppose you can explain about running around with my wife. Why, I got... I don't believe it! Oh! You know, Bill, I was a lucky guy when Sally decided to marry me after all. Here. Look at the house I built for the little wife. Ain't it swell? Very nice. 
It must be great to be married. There's nothing like it, Bill. Don't you think I'm a changed man? Yeah, for the worse. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello, boss. Yeah, he's here. All right. Yeah, I got it. Okay, boss. Something wrong? No, there's nothing wrong. He wants you to deliver a car to that address. And he says call up first and find out if the woman's husband is home because it's supposed to be a surprise for him. Oh, a surprise, eh? I will. Oh, hello there. Shemp's on the phone. Oh, well, thank you. Hello? Mrs. Keeler? Are you home alone? Oh, that's fine. Where's your husband now? Oh, he's out. <laughs> that's great. I'll be right over. Oh, hello, honey. I'm in a hurry. I got some business at Tensa. See you later. Business. Lady. You? What are you doing here? Well, uh, I'm supposed to deliver a car. Oh, you're from the automobile company. Yes, and here's the oh, key. Thank you. Say, listen, I'm awfully sorry about what happened the other day. Oh, well, I'm sure glad your husband isn't home. <laughs> if he was, boy, would he burn up. <laughs> so! Oh, now, now, watch out. You again! Joe! Joe, we just wanted to surprise you! You did! I was just leaving. I'll help you! I had a busy day. You're gonna have a busier night. I'll get you, you work. Uh, ah! I'm gonna teach you a lesson, you wife stealer. Joe! Wait till you see this. Joe, what are you doing? I'm gonna wreck his car and I'm gonna wreck him. His car is yours. I bought it for your birthday. Oh, thank you, baby. Uh, my car? My birthday? Oh, Maisie. Happy birthday. It's a lovely home. Two large bedrooms, light and airy, and in a nice neighborhood. A young married couple built it, but they split up. You know, one of those things. <laughs> you like it, honey? Oh, I think it's darling, Joe. <laughs> when can we move in? Oh, right away. It's completely furnished. Well, fine. Let's take it. All right, we'll draw up the lease. Yep, the wife left me. She told me she's going to rent the house and go back to her father. Oh, that's too bad. Say, she might change her mind. Women do that. That's right. I'm going back to the house. She might come home. She might at that. Good luck, Shemp. The winner, folks. And now a strong contender for the world's championship, Joe Keeler. Hey, Joe, say a few words. Hello, folks. It was a great fight, and I'm glad I won. I'll be right out to see our new little home, honey. Glad you're back, Sally. You know, I always told you he was no good. I know. I guess you're right. I never want to see him again. Well, now you're showing some sense. Oh. 
But he's so beautiful. Oh. Oh, I can't live without him. He might be at the house. I'm going back. At this hour? At any hour. Oh. Well, they must have got thinner. Maybe the laundry stretched these things. Fix Joe something to eat. Papa's home. Oh, you're awake, huh, baby? Did you listen to the fight on the radio tonight? <laughs> oh, boy, what a slaughter that was. I... You should have been there tonight to see what I did to Slugger Mike. I sure gave him the works. I, in the first round, I knocked the slicker clean out of the ring and broke three of his ribs. And then, in the second round, then I, I really got going. Uh, finally, just to keep myself good and mad, I kept pretending that he was that automobile salesman that got fresh with you, and boy, I nearly killed him. for a good night's sleep. Are you proud of me, Maisie? I'm gonna meet the champ next month. And the way I feel tonight, well, I'll tear him to bits. How's my little cutie pie, huh? Gee, I almost forgot. I didn't kiss my baby goodnight. What's the matter, honey? Oh, you're shaking like you got a chill. Now, you stay right there. I'll go get you a hot water bottle. Oh, you keep covered up. I'll be right back. I'll only be a minute. So where can it be? Where must it be? What are you doing out of bed? Get back in there. Do you want to get pneumonia? I'm going after a hot water bottle for you. I'll be right back. Hot water bottle? For me? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is my house. It is not. It's mine. I tell you, it's mine. It is not. It's hers, all right. Thanks. You see? Ah! Oh, Franklin! Joe! Joe! Maisie! Joe! Oh, Joe, Joe! Maisie, what are you doing out of bed? Get back into there. Are you off your nut? There's a burglar in the 
All right, so there's a burglar in a, a burglar. Why you? Sally, gal. <laughs> what was that? Mice. Mice! Let's get out of here. Sweetheart, I wanted to surprise you. Hybert and I are making the breakfast this morning. Now you run along and get your housewife done. Well, it better be good. I'm hungry this morning. Well, ain't we all? <laughs> oh, mm, those new fandangle ice boxes. Broke my vaccination at three. How do you like that? Guaranteed for five years, and they only got it yesterday. Oh. That's more like it. Jim, what on earth is going on here? It could have been Weiss. No, no. Honey, did you slip? No, I'm baking a cake. Hey, but you shouldn't do that. It ain't sanitary. You know that. Yes, I know you'll know it. Here, go ahead. There. The whole of it. That's how people get this temper, dragging things around from one mouth to another. Hey, buddy, come and get this. I can't, I can't lay, raise this. Oh. Get out of here! Get out of here! Hey, buddy, let go of my dog! <laughs> Cut it out, will you? Cut it out! Cut it out, will you? He's down. Hey, get, take him off me! Get out of here! Hey! He's a glutton for punishment. <laughs> He's down again. He's up again. I wonder if I moved on the wrong side of the track. Breaking up housekeeping, boys? Honey, there's some new neighbors moving in next door. Yes, I noticed some of their furniture. They have some nice pieces. Yeah, swell pieces all over the lawn. <laughs> you know, they're the Batses. He's head of the Bats Manufacturing Company. 
I have a lot of war contracts. Bombs and things. Oh boy, bombs. A direct hit. I do hope the new people are nice. Shemp, please try not to get into arguments with them the way you did with the Nelsons. Oh, that old sour puss, always making a mountain out of a molehill. Remember how he sizzled when I burned his garage down? <laughs> you know, Shemp, I think you should get acquainted with Mr. Batts. Maybe there's something you can do to help him get moved. Sure, I can give him a hand. I'll go over right after breakfast. Oh. Allow me, sweet maiden. Wonder who that can be. It can't be the milkman. It's too late. How do you do? How are you? I'm Mrs. Batts from next door. Oh, well, won't you come right in? I'm always very neighborly. Well, uh, my husband uh, has a flat tire, and I wonder if you could help him fix it. Well, now, isn't that odd? Two minds with but a single thought. I was just going over to see if I could help you. Wait till I get my tools. Oh, Mrs. Batts, I almost forgot. My mother-in-law's daughter. Why, how do you do? I'm very pleased to have you as my neighbor. Thank you. Well, bye. Honey, you keep moving around. You were standing right there a minute ago. I know it. Believe me. Well, there's company here. Well, come on, this ain't getting the tire fixed. Goodbye. Goodbye. Right out this way. Darling. Darling, this is Mr. Howard, our next door neighbor. Oh, and how do you do? And what's that name? My wife calls me Angel. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And this is my husband. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> oh, honey, you run along. This ain't much of a job. It's only flat on the bottom. Oh, all right. See you later. Goodbye. Bye. Swell kid. <laughs> hey, bud, you know the old saying, many hands make light work. I'm right here with you. That's it. That's it. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got it up high enough. What the guy? Oh. How do you expect to find anything in there when you can't see? Oh, oh. I'll get it for you. Oh. Here it is, right here. Oh. Go ahead, go on. Oh. It's a good thing I come over to you. Never got that tire fixed. Oh. Go easy on those tools, will you? No, no, you turn it the wrong way. Let me... Get away from All me. Right. Get away from me. All right. I'll get you something to hit it with. No! 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 Get me out of here! What's oh. the matter? What's the matter? Oh. oh, why did you put your foot under there? Oh. You might have known it was going to hit you. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Now, don't oh. act like oh. a baby. Don't act like a baby. I'll get you out of there in a jiffy. Oh! 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 oh. oh. Why didn't you... Yeah, you better get those brakes fixed. Oh, my goodness, what in the world happened? Oh, the jack slipped and he got his foot caught. Oh, my How God. did you oh, happen oh. to marry such a clumsy old ox? And what happened to the garage? Why doesn't he get his brakes fixed? If I hadn't discovered it, he might have killed somebody. Oh, thank you. That's all right, lady. Glad to help at any time. Jonathan! What's the matter? Mr. Howard has explained everything. We're so glad he was able to help, aren't we? Any time. Now, is there anything else I can do for you while I'm here? Yes. You... Oh, thank you so much. Jonathan, weren't you saying you wanted some help with that barrel of dishes? No. All right, let's get at it while I'm in the mood. No. Come on, Jonathan. Oh, no. Oh, I don't want it. Oh, no. Well, grab hold of it. Do you want Mr. Howard to do all the work? What are you waiting for, music? Go ahead. That's it. Now look what you 
जाना Now take it easy, Bob. They're not all broken. Oh, don't tell me. A hole in one. Tell me you're coming up. Oh, I'll get you. Take it easy now. Oh, wait a minute, Helen. Oh, uh, he sure fixed things up this time. Does he always have that much trouble? Well, I hadn't noticed. I... Oh, I'm so glad my chef has been able to help you, folks. Indeed, I don't know what Mr. Bats and I would have done without him. Oh, you're the Mr. Bats I've heard so much about. That's site Super X. Most powerful explosive in the world, isn't it, Jonathan? Say, Bob, you ain't as dumb oh, as you... Oh, I almost forgot what I came over for. I thought you folks might like a snack, so I baked this pie for you. Oh, isn't that lovely? I do hope you enjoy it. Yes. Come on, Shemp. We'll see you folks later. Yeah, Thank fine. you. If you want me, just call me. Now, Annie, I just can't stand one more thing. Ever since I set eyes on that human horsefly, one bad thing after another has happened to me. Now, now, Jonathan, you come over here and relax. Sit down. <laughs> you should relax, dear. Annie, what did you do with the pie? Tell me you did put it away, didn't you? Tell me you did. Oh, no. Oh. What a joint. What a layout. You know, I got a little laboratory in my basement. Not like this, of course, but neat and efficient. I got a boiler in the laundry stove, a couple of yards of copper tubing, and the product is terrific. Look at the beads on that. That's a sham special. That's what I'm experimenting with. Here, I'm with that. Oh. Oh. What on earth is that? That's a sham special. One slug of that, and I'm in the pink. Two slugs, and I'm in the doghouse. You want to try a slug? What happened? They outflanked me. Hey! Are you still helping my husband? Well, I haven't really exerted myself as yet, but give me time. Give me time. <laughs> lovely day, isn't it? It sure is lovely. Yes, indeed. Lovely. Well, I didn't think it was that lovely. Saving this for the 4th of July? Oh, no. That's my husband's blockbuster. You know, if that were loaded with bat sight, it'd be the equivalent of a thousand pound bomb? No kidding. Oh, hey, but shut your eyes. I'm going to bomb me like a hammer. Go ahead and let me take off. <laughs> Bomber data pilot, steady on course. Look out, you idiot. That bomb's loaded. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Look out, look out. Look out. Look out for the... Oh. <laughs> no. Give me that, you dumb bell. If you'd have dropped that, you'd have blown up the whole neighborhood. The way you talk, you'd think uh, I did it on purpose. I live in this neighborhood, no. too. Oh. Duck! That's supposed to be 14 times stronger than TNT. And all it does is go piffed. I'm ruined. 
Thousands of people are going to be out of work, and I'm going to close down my plant. Don't be discouraged, old man. Don't be discouraged. Take a sluggish shem special. It'll steam you up. Go ahead. Give me that. What's the matter? You got gas on your stomach? What is it, kid? Soft coal? When is it? It'll cloud up, don't worry. Oh, don't ever use that. You'll get round shouldered. I'll get you something to straighten you out. Yeah. Just move it up and down. Fast. Good morning, Mrs. Howard. I just had to come over and see you. I'm so worried about my husband. Do you know he spent all last night working in his lab? Didn't even stop to eat. And your husband, he acts just like a tonic to him. Why talk a failure at a time like this? I'll straighten them out in no time. Now, don't thank me. Don't thank me. It's a mere trifle. Oh! Oh, oh Shemp, did you hurt yourself? No, oh, no. It wasn't lightning, was it? No. Hi, neighbor. Here you're having a little trouble. Surprised you didn't call on me. Say, buddy, can't you find something to do at home? Something that'll occupy that little tiny brain of yours? If you and I weren't such good friends, my feelings would have been hurt. No. Here, let me get that for you. No, no, get down. Now get down. I'll get that one. Oh. A little dash of this in your bat's head will be all right. Hey, hey, be careful. Oh, look out. Oh, ah, sleep. Jumped off that ladder. This never would have happened. Jumped! Oh. Where are you going? What are you going to do? Split some wood? No, I'm splitting your head. Whoa! One slug of this and your troubles will go up in smoke. That's all your fat side needed was a Jigger Shem special. Thanks. Last night, our hero played poker. This morning, he'll tell a white lie. But wifey suspects there's a joker. And hubby may get a black eye. William Spearshake. Well, it's just a little after eight in the morning. Here he comes. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's trying to sneak out. How do you like that guy? He's afraid his wife will ask questions. Now he's shushing the dog. Nothing good will come of this. Ow. Oh. Well, let's see what happens. Hello, Joe. No, I haven't had my breakfast yet. I'm going to try to sneak out before Minnie asks me a lot of questions. Look. 
No cracks about our poker game last night. I'm gonna tell my wife I was working at the office. No, my flivver broke down after I dropped you off. It's a wreck. I gotta get me another car. Yeah? What page? Wait a minute. Oh, here it is. Husband and Savers. Forced to sell 1940 coupe in first class condition. 1802 Face Street. Main 483. Sounds swell to me, and only two blocks from here. Hey, drop over and help me get the wreck started, and we'll look at the car together. Huh? No, don't tell my wife. I want to surprise her with a new car. Uh-huh. Okay, but don't tell Minnie. So long. Oh, boy. Oh, good morning, Minnie, my little apple blossom. <laughs> Don't tell Minnie what. Oh, uh, we just got an order, and we don't want the Minneapolis office to know about it, the branch office. So I just told Joe, don't tell Minnie. <laughs> very funny. Don't tell Minnie. Ha ha. That is very funny. Don't tell Minnie. Ha ha. <laughs> Have a little coffee. Mmm, that smells good. Yes, sir. You look charming this morning. And that beautiful smile on you. <laughs> Idiot. You give me a sweet Mickey Finn. How do you like that? Oh, eggs. What time did you sneak in last night? Why, uh, I was working at the office, Dimple Doll. I didn't ask what you were doing. I asked what time you sneaked in. Oh, about 11 o'clock. See here, Woodcock J. Strinker. Someday I'm going to find out just how you spend your evenings away from home. And if there's a woman involved, when I get through with you, you'll look like a wounded veteran from the Civil War. Always complaining, always complaining, just because you made me some eggs this morning. You know, honey, Eggs ain't what they used to be when I was a boy. <coughs> Too much pepper. I want to know where you really were last night. Oh! I'll tell. I'll tell. Well? I was playing poker with Joe and some of the boys. With blondes on your laps? Yeah, with blondes on our laps. No! We were just playing poker. And I'm supposed to believe that. Oh, we've been little. Look at the dog. What's that fool? What are you doing? My new shoes. Look out, let go of them. Let go of them. Look at them. Oh, hold them there. Why didn't you play with the old ones? That's why I left them there. well-known local businessman is carrying on with a well-shaped blonde telling his wife he's playing poker with the boys. Playing poker. Uh, good morning, Minnie. What's the matter, Joe? Afraid to come in the front door? Well, I... How do you I... like that dog? I had to change my shoes. Hiya, Joe. Now, look, Joe, I want you to tell Minnie about last night when we... Just a minute. I'll do the asking. So you and Woodcock stepped out last night? Why, uh, no. Positively no. Look, my little peach fuzz, it's all a big mistake. Yeah, and you made it, you moth-eaten Romeo. What? Control yourself. Take it easy now, take it easy. Hey, why don't you call your shots? You second-hand Lothario. Now watch what you're doing. Oh! You drugstore Casanova. Now take it easy. I'll brain you. Wait for me, will you? But, honey, you know I love you. I can explain everything. I don't want any explanations. I wouldn't believe anything you said anyway. But, honey, if you leave me, you'll break my heart. I ought to break your head. Oh, my onion seed. I don't care. I'm going home to Mother. Goodbye. Oh, baby, don't... <laughs> you pushed me. You no. brute. You did it on purpose. I didn't. Honest, ah. baby. Baby. 
Why, Minnie Strinker, where are you going in that outfit? What's wrong with this? I forgot my lipstick. Well, anyway, I'm leaving that two-timing husband of mine. Mm, two-timing, huh? They're all the same. At least all three of mine were. And I caught them all red-handed. Well, I haven't caught Woodcock yet, oh, but... Oh, you've got to catch them, or they'll just lie their way out of everything. Now, here's what you do. Yeah? Look, surprise her with the new car, she'll forget all about it. Yeah, maybe you're right. I know it. Hello? Are you the lady who advertised the car for sale? Oh, I see. Yeah? Well, uh, what shape is she in? Yeah? And you say she's beautiful, huh? Well, how old is she? Oh, that's fine. Yeah? And beautifully upholstered. And you say she's plenty fast, huh? That's the way I like them, nice and speedy. <laughs> well, just, uh... well, I'll tell you what you do. Warm her up for me and I'll be right over. Oh, sure. Sure I know how to handle her. Why, I've handled lots of them. <laughs> all right, goodbye. Well, Joe, it's all set. Boy, I can't wait until I get my hands on her. <laughs> well, goodbye, Woody. Where you going? You heard me make the date. How do you like a guy like that walking up? Now, wait a minute. Don't lose your temper, honey. Well, now, wait a minute, kid. In great. Now, please, now, will you stop, honey? Take it easy. <laughs> Baby, stop throwing. You know you always miss me anyway. Why, look at those dishes there. Oh, God. Turn it out. Oh, turn it out. Joe. I surrender. Don't shoot. She's got me crazy. Joe, answer me. Just when I need him most. Stay here, I'll walk. Hey, cut that out! Oh! Look at that. Oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't see you. I, I'm Woody. Trixie, don't tell me you're the woman that advertised the car. Yes. Ah. Oh. Oh. Oh, what do you think of that? Ah! Oh. I haven't seen you since you turned me down and married that other bozo. Ah! Ah! You're all wet. Oh. What kind of material is this? It must be a hot water bottle I bought. <laughs> ah! Oh, my. Come in and dry off before you catch your death of cold. I think you got something there. You know, baby, you look just as pretty as ever. Oh, flatterer. No, honest, just, baby, you look just <laughs> the same as ever. I saw them with my own eyes go into the house, arm in arm. He was calling her baby and telling her how pretty she was. This time I'll catch him red-handed. Trabella, will you come with me? Why, Minnie Stringer, what sort of a woman do you think I am? Such a question. Well, of course I'll go with you. I wouldn't miss it for anything. Now hurry and dress. I'll fix him. water spots out of your hat. And I'll have some hot tea ready for you in a minute. Gee, thanks. Just what I need. Oh, I guess I'll have a cigarette. Help yourself. Thanks. Just my brand, too. <laughs> you got a swell joint here. Gasoline! No, 
almost scared me to death. <gasps> you know, I feel funny wearing your husband's robe. Oh, don't worry about that. My husband's somewhere in the Pacific. Of course, if he was home. <whistles> you know, he's terribly jealous. So is Minnie. That's my wife. <laughs> she... <laughs> My wife, my wife, she is my wife. If she ever finds me here, she'll tear this house to pieces, including you. Oh, no. Well, well, hide. Hide in the bedroom. I'll get rid of her somehow. Oh, my... Quick. Oh, the clothes, the clothes, the clothes. Oh. Don't open the door. Don't open the door. She'll scratch my eyes out. Now, you just watch her there. Oh. Oh. Don't open that door. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Hurry. Hurry. I'm hurrying. What time, Jason? about yes she does minnie he's here well we'll find out search the living room trapella look at here shut up search every nook and cranny don't leave a stone unturned now let her come what's in there nothing oh he is is he well we'll just look for nothing listen here you can't burst into a lady's house like come yes. help me well now i hope you're satisfied he's not here is he what have you done with my husband you you junk collector don't call me a junk collector, you, you little hussy, you. Do that once more. I dare you. You do? <laughs> she did it. Yes, and I'll do it again and again and again a thousand times. And for two cents, I'll tear your hair out. You would, would you, you, you blonde hussy? Drop <laughs> <gasps> 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 oh, oh, Here's some water. Oh, my. Water? Water. Here, Chapelle, drink this. Drink it. There, now you'll feel better. Oh. Goodness. Oh. oh, my, you've given her gasoline. Oh, oh dear, you what hurt this poor woman. I'm so sorry I lost my head for a minute. I should have known you're too nice to hide another woman's husband. <clears throat> yes, yes, of course. I wouldn't do a thing like that. Oh, I'll get the smelling salts. Oh, yes. Hurry. Dear. Oh, isn't this terrible? She's colder than a mackerel. Rubber wrists. Trapella. Speak to me. I better massage your neck. Thank goodness. Come, I'll fix you a cup of hot tea. Thanks for the lift, Dave. Gosh, would the wife be surprised? I can hardly wait to see her. So long. For you. Thank you. I'm going to have a cookie, too. Oh, yes. Do, do, girls. Nice. I suddenly needed this tea. Oh. Surprise! Oh, darling! Baby! What a oh. surprise! Oh, girls, I want you to meet my husband. This is, uh... This is an old school chum of mine, Minnie, and our teacher. <laughs> Kindergarten. How do you do? How do you do? Baby. Oh, darling. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. What a surprise! Gosh, darling, it was lonely without you here. I missed you so too. You oh, don't leave, 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 leave me. Oh, my darling. Yes, dear, I did. Oh, my darling. 
Of course you do. I love you too. You're coming in so suddenly. No! Hello, baby doll. Lonely, hey? Why out break him and do Why out break him? Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. They get it. Oh, this is terrible. Here he is. Yo-ho. Many here he is. Give me 222, the Adams Mining Company, quick. Hello, the Adams Mining Company, this is Plain Pool. I don't care if you're a plain fool or any other kind of a fool. No, no, I said plain pool. Plain pool. I'll telephone the depot and find out if that payroll train come in yet. This is Andy Clyde at the Plain Pool Depot. I've just received $10,000 consigned to your outfit. I want someone to come over and get it right away. This is the watchman. I'm the only one here, and I can't come over for no money. You'll have to wait till morning. Now, listen, I don't want to keep $10,000 around here all night. You know, there's been too many robberies lately. It's kind of dangerous. That's your worry, mister. I got to make my round. Will you quit pestering me? Goodbye. Oh, the damn fool. Shoot, don't shoot, I'll give the money. Darn idiot, you scared the daylights out of me. What you so excited about it? Well, the 11.15 came by at 12.30 and dropped the payroll for the mine. So what? So what? You know how many holdups there's been lately. Yeah, well, you've got nothing to worry about, Andy. If Bayless try any funny stuff around here, do you know what I'll do? I'll blow their heads off. And I don't mean... Oof. I'll give it to them between the eyes. Dead eye dick is what they call me. Steady as a silver dollar. Are you all right? Any blood? Save your bullets for the bandits. Oh, that was nothing. Just a little accident, that's all. Come on, let's eat our supper before it gets cold. And, Andy, will you relax? With me here, you got nothing to worry about. Well, thanks, Shemp. You don't know how relieved I am. And am I hungry? That's all right. I'm right with you. <laughs> Sounds like somebody else is hungry, too. I wish Cy Jinx would pick him up. I'm sick and tired of being a chambermaid to a flock of ducks. So. <clears throat> Betsy, look out. Don't do that with hot coffee in my hand, too. Put it down there. <clears throat> Looking out for me, ain't you? Now, remember, there'll be no shooting unless the station agent gets tough, see? Okay. Right, let's go. Don't eat so fast, Andy. You'll have nightmares again. What do you mean nightmares? This morning you walked in your sleep. I had to lead you back to the bed twice. And each time I took you by the hand, you said, can I have this dance? <laughs> Is that nice? Where's your table manners burping like that? 
I didn't do it. No, I suppose a car backfired. Why don't you take bicarbonate of soda? Oh, don't jump from the like. <laughs> now, either cut that out or stop eating. I hate people that make noises when they eat. Make noises when they eat. Oh. I didn't do it. You did. I did. You did. I did. Sorry, Andy. I'll give him the bicarbonate of the soda. <laughs> Can't be fooled there for a minute. <laughs> Thought I was you all the time. <laughs> Can I have just this little piece right on the end here? Thanks. <laughs> I'll never forget the first time my father met my mother, and then my mother married my father, and I did. Mm -hmm. Just a little time, just a little piece off the end there. A little coffee for a wash, John. Just a little coffee. It's a little hot there, kids. Watch yourself. So. Okay. Are covered. Stick him up. Now lie down on the floor. Hurry up! Let me bump him off. You ain't gonna bump anybody off for more in a week. Okay. What do we do with the bodies? The bodies. That's us. <laughs> Raspberries. Now, raise the left leg as far as you can without bending the knee. Now lower the left and raise the right. Now the left again. Right, left, keep it up until I tell you to stop. My train will be here for a half hour. Come on, let's wait in the depot. Better take your gun, Bert. Somebody might steal it. Yeah, that's right. It's too bad we didn't get any ducks. Oh, we'll get them next season. We better get them before they get us. Ready? Boy will shoot at the drop of a hat. What do we do? Go up to the mine and wait for him to bring the dough up there. Come on, let's go. Try to bump us off, huh? Maybe they'll come back with reinforcements. Let them come. I ain't scared of them. Been drinking? No, I'm out. Let go. Let go. Let go. What are you trying to do? What's going on? What's going on? Look, Andy. Oh! The money. It's gone. What will you? I'll phone the sheriff. I'll phone the sheriff. Hello, operator. Oh, 
phone. This one is disconnected. I don't care. Uh, oh. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me think. the money. Where'd you find it? In my inside vest pocket. How'd it get there? You must have been walking in your sleep again. I must have. Let's take it over the mine before something else happens. Yeah, come on. It's daylight outside. Get my hat and coat. Now, take it easy, Sheriff. They might try to shoot you, too. Well, I never met this fellow, Clyde, but I don't really think he's crazy. Gave those crooks a slip, Andy, old boy. I'll say, with Andy Clyde at the wheel, we can't miss. <laughs> <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> Get 
Take care of the car. I'll go on to the mine. Get him down. Hey, come on down from there. Uh, uh, you... Get up. How did you... How did you get... Get up. Hey! Hey, come back to my horse! Sound out of you, mister, and I'll blow your head off. Oh, take it easy, boy, take it easy. I'm Andy Clive from Plainpool. Here's the payroll. You better lock it up. There's been bandits following me all night. Oh, that's all right, mister. We'll take good care of this, though. Oh, boy, am I relieved. <laughs> better give me a receipt. Sure, sure. Received? From Andy Clyde, one payroll. There you are. Thank you. Clyde. Thank you. He's the robber. Now give him the money. How will I get it back? Food. Boys, the sheriff. told you you could play tennis. <laughs> What's that in your hand, a ukulele? <laughs> There's a hole in your racket. You get it? Get a load of one-eyed Conley. Have a peanut, kid. We'll take a more. What you miss it? Game set. The winner of the match, John Leonard. Can I call him? Can I call him or can I call him? And now, ladies and gentlemen, to the winner of this tennis match, we present the Black Ball Cup. 
The presentation will be made by one of the outstanding baseball players of all time, whose mighty bat will be a big factor in carrying his team to victory in the World Series games tomorrow. I present that slugging left fielder of the Green Sox, Ole Marjorie. Aha, that's what you think. Take your bows now, Ole. You won't be getting any tomorrow. Ole, don't make a scene. That loud mouth's been riding me all season. Get a load of that clam digger. <laughs> Mr. Margin will present the Blackmore Cup, which has been in competition for over 40 years. Mr. Margin. Watch him drop it! <laughs> Butterfingers! Boy, can I call him or can I call him? <laughs> How time flies. Get it? <laughs> I'm blind. I'm blind. No. No, I'm not. I can see all right, just like an owl. <laughs> <laughs> Kill the umpire! He's a robber! Hey, what are you doing? No, don't get excited. It's a soft <laughs> drink. It won't hurt. <laughs> get it a soft drink. <laughs> Snug as a bug in a rug, huh? Well, how's the old ball game going, Slim? Swell until you came in. Better late than never. Get it? <laughs> Here, hold this, will you? Laughing boy. Cheer up, you can hold my peanuts. <laughs> Do you have to smoke that thing? What's the matter with it? It's terrible. Why don't you smoke a pipe? I do, but I left my tobacco home. Here, have some of mine. Oh. Thanks. Ouch! <laughs> Bullseye. That's a hot one. <laughs> you got a match? Inhale every puff. Ouch! Don't worry, it's out, it's out. You got a pump? Better look in your other pockets. I get it, you're a card. <laughs> How do you like that, a leak? Yep, it's a leak. Ouch! Don't squawk, I'll give it back to you after the game. How do you like a guy like that, squawking? <laughs> Hey, you been drinking this? Come on home, Spike! Come on home! Hit that dirt, you dummy, you! Hit that dirt! Hit the dirt, you dummy! Hit the dirt! Hey, what are you hey. doing there? Hey, 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 a shower. Oh, you're nuts. <laughs> Wise guy. Gosh. <laughs> nice white Come spike. On. What are you going that way for? Give me my goobers. Goobers? Oh, an ordinary. Peanuts to you. Boy, an ice cream cone. Pass this down. Okay. I guess there's a guy like you at every ball game. Here, pass it down. Pass. Hey. Come on. <laughs> I a la mode. 
him. Get it. <laughs> You're all right here. Wait a minute, there's a feather in it. Take it off. See that? Can you imagine that? <laughs> the ice cream is molding, get it? Molding, get it? Yeah, I got it. Mmm, <laughs> vanilla, I like it. Must have had pits in it, didn't it? Swing, Oli! Oh, strike one! I got it, but... There's my ticket for tomorrow's game. <laughs> Summer's almost over anyway. You'd look oh. good in a cap. That's it. Hey, Oli! Strike two! You can't hit him if you can't see him. Watch him miss it! Can I call him or can I call him? Under the chin there. Last half of the sixth inning. Bulldogs up. Wizard Wallace at bat. Give it a ride, was there? Was that a hit or was that a hit? <laughs> You want to laugh? <laughs> Somebody sat on my hot dog. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who? <laughs> you. Yeah. Hey, you don't expect me to eat this, do you? It's too good for you. Oh, it is, eh? Yeah. Hey, look out. You get mustard all over me. Hey, boy. Another hot dog, and this one's on my little chum here. This kid right here. Hey, there's no mustard on it. Oh, why don't you watch what you're doing? Don't worry, put too much on anyway. Hey, I can't see through you. My wife can. Toss the kid a dime for the hot dog. What are you trying to do, jip him out of it? Slide, it was a slide. Slide! Hey! The blowout. <laughs> Why do they have to bring noisy kids to ball games? I like it quiet. Doesn't bother me. Oh, no nerves, eh? No nerves. Say, madam, would you mind keeping that kid quiet? He's getting my mind off the game. Well, now, with that bang-bang business, you done scared my little honeysuckle most night to death. Oh, it's scared him, eh? Here you are, kid. Where am the mustard? Where's the mustard? You know where the mustard is. <laughs> can I call him or can I call him? Well, there goes the old ball game, folks. Nice work. Nice work. Why don't you shut up? Oh, I saw that, eh? Say, that loud mouth really won the ball game. Yeah. With him in a stand, tomorrow's game would be a cinch bet. Cinch bet? That's a beautiful thought, Arnold. Let's go. What are you waiting for, an exit march? So long, Slim. <laughs> hey, Noisy, how'd I go to Cincinnati? Oh, would I like it? I'd love it. All aboard for Cincinnati! <laughs> now listen, Noisy, we brought you here. And we got a big bet on the Bulldogs in tomorrow's game. And all you've got to do is keep riding the Green Sox. Oh, I get it. And you're in for 10% of the bet. By the way, how are your pipes? How are the pipes? Watch him miss it!
Boys, we got to win tomorrow's game. Lefty, you're going to pitch. And you only snap out of it. You haven't had a hit in the series. And what's more, he ain't going to get any. Hi, you stinky. Just a minute, Ollie. I'll handle this. Maybe he's got something, boys. Here, have a cigar. Thanks. Have one of mine. <laughs> Quite a blowout, eh? <laughs> Thanks for the report. <laughs> Get it, the report. <laughs> Say, I smelled something. What? Your team. <laughs> what? Watch him miss it. Hit it to Ole, he'll miss it. <laughs> Oh, boy, can I call him or can I call him? There's a hole in your butt, Holy. Strike one, strike two, strike three, strike four, strike five. What kind of a game is this? Oh, kill the umpire. Oh, there's a hole in your butt. Watch him miss it. <laughs> the game is on the ice. I'll have a hot dog with mustard. <laughs> Do Doc walk in? Oh, you'll find out. Mm. Now, uh, take a deep breath, please. <clears throat> Say, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. What is it? Water on the knee, Doc. How is he, Doc? In pretty bad shape. Swab, Miss Shapely. Shapely. Mm. Squabs. Don't tell me I'm that sick. that cotton? I don't know. Did you swallow it? I don't know. Doesn't your stomach tickle? When I wear flannel underwear. When... When... Doc, make my voice lower, will you, Doc? Well, how about it, Doc? Oh, you'll be all right in half hour if you keep him warm. We'll keep him warm, all right. Five. Nice quiet game, eh, Ole? Sure is, boss. Go out there and smack the cover off it, kid. It's a cinch. Ole Marcher, enough. Ball one. Now give out. What do you mean? Ball two. Listen, Noisy, this is your last chance. Give and give louder, or I'll let you have it. Watch him miss it! I wasn't fooling, Lug. I'm gonna let you have it. Go ahead and shoot, and watch him miss it! <laughs> Boy, can I call him, or can I call him?
And you, Mr. Sprinker, do you? I do. I do. I do indeed. I think it's a very nice cake. One of the finest I've ever seen. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You'd better have it sent right out. The wedding takes place at five. Yes, ma'am. Will you sign this, please? Yes, certainly. They are. Thank you. Pack this cake, please. Oh. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> yes, dear. Quick, I must hurry to the hairdressers. Give me a kiss, would I? Oh, yeah. oh silly. Bye-bye. Bye, Bun. Oh, miss, how much is that? <laughs> I always carry them in case I get hungry. But do you always carry them on a cane? Oh, yes. It keeps the sugar from getting in my pocket. Do you sell them? Oh, no. I give them away. Would you like one? Oh, yes. Thank you. Mmm. Good. Would you like another? Yes, please. You got them. I'll be here Friday with coffee. Oh, thank you. Hey, what's the idea, my Wait friend? a minute, Louie. He just saved my life. That piece of canvas would have killed me if he hadn't pulled me out of the way. Oh, well, well, I'm sorry, pal. Gee, but you see, I'm kind of crazy about Maisie here, and, well, once in a while I get a little bit jealous. Oh, see? skip it. I know how it is. I'm, I'm in love myself. Oh. I'm getting married today. <laughs> well, congratulations. What's the name, pal? Woodcock Q. Strinker. Woody to my friends. Well, am I glad oh. to meet you. Say, he's a nice little guy, you know. Well, nice. I'll be leaving. Hey, wait a minute, pal. If you, if you ever need a favor, look me up. Derringer's the name, Louis Derringer. I'm at the Arsenal Arms Apartments. What a coincidence. I live there myself. Well, well, that is a coincidence. <laughs> Louis Derringer, not public enemy number... Yeah, that's me, that's me. Number 13. <laughs> well, hold on, pal. Public enemy number 13. Drinker, you're a classic kid. Just a minute. Hello, William. Hello, Mr. Strinker. Rashida said to give me this, and there's no answer. Thanks, old man. Cheer up. This is my wedding day. Smile. What's wrong with him? No, it can't be. Honeysuckle, baby Ola, I can explain it. It's all a mistake. You're the only girl I love. Oh, sure. Me and your other girlfriend, that, that flat sitter. Oh, I never want to see you again. Don't say that, sweetheart. I can't live without you. If you leave me, I'll do something desperate. I'll... I'll end it all. Oh, you... You haven't got the nerve. Go on, William. Oh, sugar plum. Honeysuckle, believe me. I got that... Oh. Come back here, baby! Come back! 
Oh, so I haven't got the knife, eh? When I really bump myself off, the joke will be on you. <clears throat> I'll show you a two a day. What are you trying to do, kill me? That's it. I'll show her. I will end it all. Senator, I know a congressman. Look out there. Goodbye, cruel world. Goodbye. Oh, oh. You think I'm foiled, but I'll find a way. Yes. I'll show you. I'll show you. <clears throat> Goodbye. shoot. I might miss and break the burn. That's seven years hard luck. Oh, you're just... Hello? Room service. Send up a pitcher of ice water to room 813. Yes, sir. Coming right up. Come in. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, goodbye, sweetheart. I'm shot. I'm dead. I'm dying. I'm done. I'm, I'm. I'm okay. Oh, I don't know. What good are you to me? I'll find a way. I'll have to, that's... The window, that's it. I'll jump. Oh! Fate's against me, that's what. I gotta think. Oh. Nothing like a smoke to make a man think. I can't go on. I gotta think. I gotta figure a way out. What, what is this here? Right in there. Well, it did, eh? Come out of there. See, you kind of sort of dropped in on us by surprise, huh? Yes, Mr. Derringer. My guy left me, and I don't want to live anymore. You're in that oh. business. I want you to give it to me. Oh, I couldn't snuff out your candle. Why, you're my pal. You saved Maisie. But you gotta. You said if I ever needed a favor, why, here, look. I'll give you my girl's oh. engagement ring. Oh, go ahead, Louis. He's a swell guy. Go on, bump him off. Well, okay. For you, Maisie, I'll do it. Hey, Poisable. Go on, monkey, get in the bathroom. I don't want to go to the bathroom. Wait, wait, you'll mess up the room. And besides, I don't want to know when or how you do it. I want it to be a sort of a surprise. Well, all right. You'll be dead, but you won't know it. One hole. Right, one hole. Gee, you're swell. Hey, what are you boiling? Soft coal? Tastes sort of metallic-like. Try it. Hey, 
That's okay. Hmm. What's the name of this tobacco? Old dynamite. Huh. Old dynamite, huh? Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Darling, are you? Oh, no, I don't think so. Oh, I'm so glad. Can you ever forgive me? Forgive you? My sugar plum. My grapefruit. My tangerine. Look, you're a hero. Then everything's all right. Oh, yes. I guess I was just a little bit too hasty, but I do love you, and I'd like to have my ring back. Well, I got it right here in my... Oh. The ring. I'll, uh, I'll give it to you later. I got it downstairs in the safe deposit box. Uh, all right. I'll run along, honey, and get dressed for the wedding. All right. And nothing's ever going to come between us again, Angel Face, as long as we live. Of course not, my pet. Not as long as we live. <laughs> live. I gotta see Louie. I gotta call it off. I don't wanna die. Where'll I find him? That's the next thing. Where'll I find him? Oh! No! I'm gonna call it off! Oh, they locked me in! I'm trapped! Trapped like a rat! Open up! Open! Oh, oh no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm gonna shoot, I'm going hunting. Oh. oh, what are you going hunting for? Ducks, what do you think? Yeah, well, take it easy, buddy, take it easy. I will. This cigarette will do me a lot of good. Yeah. One puff and I'm in a hurry all over. Louie, please, I called the whole thing off. My girl and I are made up, so I gotta get my ring back. Go on yourself. Louie ain't here. And besides, the deal's the deal. But my ring! You just try and get it. Oh, come on, please. Oh. Now, listen to you, I... Yeah, I must have left my door upstairs. Give me 713. Will you cut out the noise? There's nobody home. Oh. There's nobody. Hey, what do you mean? Hey, you! Wait! Give that ring, you Indian giver. Let go of me, Ralph. Scream. It. You gave it to me, and it's mine. <laughs> I'm ticklish. <laughs> what did you do with it? <laughs> Why? I can explain everything. So can I. Oh. Oh, that Maisie, baby. I Why you? Hey, I've been looking all over for you. Now, wait a minute. Don't shoot. We called it off. Oh, gee. I never get a break. Get here! Get here! Come on, we'll break it down. Ready? Set! Go! Oh, 
Oh, darling. Oh. Do you like chop suey? Why? We're going to China. Come on. Oh, oh come on. They're coming. Don't shoot. Come on, honey. Don't. Here they come. in this time of the morning, Mr. Woodcock Chew Strinker. Now, don't get excited, sweetheart. You see, the lodge... The lodge. Ever since you've joined the Hoot we've had about as much home life as a night watchman. But, honey, the lodge only gets together five nights a week. And besides, I'm running for Grand Hooter. And I love to be Grand Hooter. Oh, now it's Grand Hooter. The year we got married, we couldn't even go on a honeymoon because you were running for... for... Uh, keeper of the nest egg. Keeper of the nest egg. What did I marry, a man or a... Hoot Owl, I'm fed up. I'm Honey, you. wait. I'm sorry if I neglected you, but we'll make up for it. We'll go away on a trip. Just you and I. A sort of a belated honeymoon. I won't go. I won't go unless you promise to give up the Hoot Owls. All right, darling. For you, I'll give up the Hoot Owls. Oh, Woodcock. You, you made me so... Happy. Oh, now stop crying. Stop crying, baby. Blow, honey. Oh. 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 How did that get in there? Oh, you've been two timing. Sweetheart, I swear. No profanity. Don't talk to me, you chiseling rat. Baby, I'm not a rat. Oh. If I'm a rat, I hope to meet a rat's fate. Oh! Oh! Ah. Ah. You rodent. Without cheese, too. Got me without cheese. If I'd have known Bell Hops was so scarce, I'd have postponed this trip. Oh, quit beefing. It's probably down the hall here a little way. You said that eight floors back. We've toured six since. I'm tired. You find it yourself. Oh, here it is, dear. Here it is. Woody, you old hoot owl. Well, if it ain't the keeper of the nest egg. Hi, you Joe. One for owl. And owl for one. Hoot! 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 Woodcock! It's the wife. Scram, scram. She's on the warpath. <laughs> Uh, just another brother hula owl. <laughs> Hoot owl. Oh. Oh. I'm 
so sorry. Oh, that's quite all right. Thank you for catching me. Oh, uh, my pleasure. Drop in again sometime. Thank you. <laughs> oh. If you'd look where you were going, this wouldn't happen. Here, I'll help you. Ah! You pushed me. Come on. Get up. Give me a hand. Oh, yes. Yeah. I had 52 balls. I hope I didn't lose any. Let's see. There's one, two, three. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. That's gratitude. All right. Honey, the food will be right up. I don't want any. Go eat with your ex-girlfriends or your hoot owls. Ex-girlfriends, darling. I told you she's a perfect stranger, and I just happened to bump into Joe Wilson. Now, honey, go inside and put on that cute little boating outfit. We'll go somewhere. Where will we go? We'll go, uh, we'll go boating. The boat of us. That's a hot one. <laughs> I'm in trouble, Woody. A girl has some letters of mine and she wants $5,000 for them. You gotta get them back for me. Now, don't be silly. I'm on a vacation. You must. She's gonna get the letters out of the safe deposit box and she's gonna send them to my wife. I won't do it. I won't do it. I tell you. Shh. Well, uh, <clears throat> after all, I guess I can't let a brother hoot owl down. I'll see her at once. You wait in the lobby. You. Won't you come in? Delighted. Just wanted to make sure you didn't sprain your ankle or uh, anything. Oh, no. My ankle's just perfect. <laughs> I'll have an apple. Have a bite? Oh, no. Oh, Meanie. You know what happened to Eve. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you big bozo, I'll, uh, uh, I'll be seeing you. I hope not. Peek, be quiet. It's a cute little dog. Oh, where'd you get the frog stickers? From my fiancé, Ricardo Martel, the famous opera singer. He got them from one of the world's greatest bullfighters. You don't say. Those swords killed over 120 bulls. Mm, that's a lot of bull. <laughs> oh, a ukulele. Do you sing? A little. Well, give out, sister. Give out. Named Ricardo, on his way up to your room. Said you were expecting him. Oh, it's my fiance, Ricardo Martel. 
He's terribly jealous. If he finds you here, he'll kill you. So he'll kill me. What? He's choking me. Let go. Get out of here. I'll get out. Get out of there. I'll go out the back way. Ricardo! Oh, what a delightful surprise. Never mind these soft soaps. Where is that man? Why, there's no man here. He is here. I have heard him. Oh, Ricardo, put that sword away. The bull sticker. Cute little fellow, isn't he? Yes. I don't know what I'd do without him. You have only one dog, no? Yes, uh, that was just the echo. <laughs> well, then I killed the echo. Oh, no! The dog, he has locked the door. Come out, dirty dog. Come out, I say. Who is this? This, um, um, that's my sister, Josephine. Oh, you, man, you. No. <laughs> she wants to play. <laughs> oh, catch me. <laughs> yes. Come here, frog face. <laughs> I'm going to kiss you. Oh, no, you won't. <laughs> oh, yes, I am. <laughs> oh, no, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> She's a he. Find your own foxhole. No, no. Oh. Wait a minute. I'd like this. Darling, coming. I'll give you just two seconds to tell me what this is all about, Mr. Woodcock Q. Strinker. Open up. Oh, it's a crazy man outside. Let me kill you like a gentleman. He's trying to kill me. Do something quick. I ought to help him, but you're my husband. Worst of luck. Get behind that screen over there. Thanks, Ellen. Where is he? Where is he? I will cut him to pieces. Oh, no, you won't, you comic strip Don Quixote. I'll call the police. Oh, no. Oh. I have heard him. He is.
is in that closet. Ah. There's no one in the closet. See for yourself. <gasps> oh, Irene, my sweet, my baby. I'll... Saw down. For what? So I can get out of here. Oh! Ah! Ah! No! Oh! No! Oh! I'm sorry again. I'm so sorry. What's the meaning of this? Excuse me. Excuse get out! Me. Pardon me, there's a guy in there who wants to kill me. You're the guy! Well! Oh. 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 Get out of here! Get out! Wait, wait! Now we duel! Prepare to defend yourself, sir. I was only kidding. I got a family and a kid. Really? What is this? Get out! I wasn't kidding. I'll frack you. Well, get out of here. Now I get you. Oh. Ow. Cut it out now. Cut it out. Cut it. Come on. Secret weapon. No. For this I kill you twice. Double cross. Hoot! 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 